Here we go. There we go, right on the drop. Oh yeah, he's got some pretty good head shakes. Here we go. Look at that. Welcome back to another Fishtails episode. Today I'm on the Hobie Outback out in Lake Michigan trying to catch some browns and maybe some steelhead, maybe some coho. We'll see what's biting. And uh, I'm gonna be trolling a couple rods with uh, crankbaits and some other jerk baits as well. Also on both my trolling rods, I have uh, the new Titan 2 reel that I'm really anxious to try out. I've used the Titan 1, used it out in the ocean, and it's done a great job sealing the drag for um, keeping the grime out and the salt out. So we're gonna see how it performs on Lake Michigan. Also make sure to leave a comment and subscribe for a chance to win a spool of Runkel fluorocarbon line. I'll give that away to a randomly selected person. Let's go catch some fish. We got a fish. Oh, we got an alewife. We got an alewife. Sure, I got an alewife here. Oh boy. They are in here thick. Another alewife. I think that's up to three now. And what do we got? Alewife number four. Alewife number four. Oh boy, a nice chunky alewife number six. This is exciting, I tell you. Looks like a little tarpon, but not. Big ball of bait fish in here and definitely some nice arcs. It's gotta be something hungry. All right, let's see if one of those fish want what I'm trolling here. Come on. Oh, here we go. Got one. Here we go. Let's get that drag tightened up. Oh no. Wrapped in this rod right here. Oh no. Oh, did he get off? Darn it. <sighs> Is he on still? Oh, don't say. I still got him. Oh, that was quite the debacle. Holy mackerel. What do we got here? There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Hooked everything else in the boat and the fish. Whew. All right. I think he's ready. There he is. Yes. And there's a fish. And man, the drag was set perfectly on this Titan too. And, uh, Super happy of just the smoothness and the way it reeled that fish in and the drag handled it just fine. It's not the biggest fish to test this awesome drag on this Runkle Titan 2, but still a good fish and ate the Nishini Erie 115. Took that pearl color. All right, Brown, we're gonna let you go. We're gonna let you go. See if I can get a little tail grab on them and give you a better picture of them. And there is a pretty brown. Not as big as they come in here, but uh, we'll take them. Let's give him a good release here and see if we can get his grandpappy. Well, quick to go back. Got off the kayak, super, super windy. You can see there's four or five footers, about 15 mile an hour winds right now. So way too much for the kayak. So I'm gonna try it from shore here along these rocks with the wind blowing in. And just gonna be casting a jigging spoon. Let's catch some fish. All right, now some people say I'm crazy for fishing in a 45 degree day with the water freezing cold and wind blowing 20 miles an hour, but that guy's crazy. <laughs> Look at that. I mean, this is gotta be mid 40s water temperature. And I don't know if he's even in a wetsuit. That's nuts. Look at that. 
again, this area just looks really good with that wind pounding in over here and um, alewives are definitely in here. I've been snagging them all day long in the kayak. So hoping there's some big fish kind of bottled up right in this area with this wind coming in. So I'm just gonna be jigging this, kind of a retrieve with a light jigging motion, not off the bottom as much as just kind of mid water column as I come in, which is again, an awesome test for just keeping this thing moving and staying with the line as the wind's blowing in. So just check that smoothness out as I'm bringing it in. Anti-reverse, super, super quick as it comes back. And just giving it that light jigging motion as they bring it in a little bit. A little bit of jig, a little bit of re retrieve, a little bit of upward motion, a little bit of retrieve. Just kind of doing that the whole way in. Here we go. What do we got here? Nothing huge, but we got a fish. Oh, just on that drop he hit. Not too much bigger than those alewives I was getting. And there he is. Little guy. Smashed it just as I was dropping it down. I thought on this nasty windy day I couldn't get the kayak in the water anymore. It was just way too windy so I'd fish from shore. And right in here with this north wind hitting this big pile of rocks like, got to be a ton of bait fish getting blown in so there he is little guy maybe we get a bigger one yet but uh we'll let you go i'll see if there's some bigger ones in here Here we go. There we go, right on the drop. Oh yeah, he's got some pretty good head shakes. Let's keep this thing tight. Here we go. Oh yeah. Look at that. Boy, hit that so close. Cast it way out there and oh. -ho. What do we have? Ooh, that's a nice looking fish. There we go, just an awesome strong drag that uh, just not slipping at all, super smooth, loving it. He is a big in, I tell ya. He's fighting like a brown though. Big fish, that's for sure. All right, let's get this net ready here. What rock looks the best for landing a fish? Uh, that one's too steep. I'm thinking that one over there is pretty good. Let's see if I can walk him down. Now, as long as I don't slip in the water right here, I'm good. Stay out of those rocks. Boy, slow morning in the kayak. Got a little guy here earlier, now that the sun came out. This big boy hit the jigging spoon. Oh, get out of that rock. Come on now, come on. Look at him, big brown. Look at that. Look at the jaw on that. <laughs> oh. Come on, come on. Let's go. Come on. Oh, he doesn't want to come in. Oh, that's a bad net job. Bad net job, fire the net person. That's bad. All right, is it gonna give me another chance? Let's get the head in first this time, how about that? Oh, we got him, we got him. Oh, woo, look at this big boy. Check out this guy right here. Oh man, what an awesome fish here. On the jigging spoon, on the Runkle Titan 2 reel, and uh, did the job, I'll tell you that. Big belly, big head, look at that kipe jaw. And the mangled top jaw too, yikes. <laughs> Let's get him back in the water.